Hi guys, hope you're having a good start to your weeks. We're back with another video and the title of today's video is Momentum Begins Within. Yes, and when we think about momentum beginning within, what could that look like? That could look like a lot of different things. But the verse that we've chosen to look at today um, is the verse that Jesus says. He says, love your neighbour as yourself. Because for momentum to begin within, for us to be able to love other people, we need to know that we can love ourselves as well. Yeah, because if we're showing our, our neighbours the love that we have for ourselves, then we have to make sure that the things that we think and say about ourselves are positive and kind, or else the things that we say over other people won't reflect that. Yeah, so imagine if I turned to Katie one day and said, oh, you're never going to make it anywhere in life, you know, you're a failure and you just got no chance. Yeah, or imagine if um, you're sitting next to someone in class and you say to them, you're never going to pass maths, you're really bad at maths, because that's something that you speak over yourself. Yeah, and we know that if we say that over someone else, we're not really going to do that. I'm not going to turn to Katie and say them things to her, because that's not a nice thing to say. Or you might not turn to the person in maths and say you're going to fail, because that's not a nice thing to say to other people. And so we can recognise that it's not nice to say to other people. But when it comes to ourselves, it can be a much easier to say these negative things to ourselves. Mm. In the morning, maybe you can wake up and you can think, oh, I've got this lesson today, but I'm really bad at this subject. Or maybe you can look at yourself in the mirror and think, maybe I'm just not as good looking as people around me. Or maybe you can think, oh, I'm not as successful as this person, or I've not got the same friends as these people. And we can speak negative things over us. But in order to love other people effectively, we need to be able to love ourselves effectively the way that Jesus does. And so we need to be able to speak truth over us the way that Jesus does. Yeah, and it's really important that we look at um, ourselves and how we view and talk to ourselves because that does affect other people. So if I have a broken arm and someone else breaks their arm, I'm not gonna be any use fixing their arm because mine's still broken. Or maybe your teachers, they can help you um, with when you're struggling in class because they know the answers. Why? Because they've done the work themselves. If they hadn't done the work themselves, they wouldn't be able to help you because they wouldn't know the answer. And so when it comes to how we treat other people, we have to start by looking at ourselves and looking how we treat ourselves and how we respond to ourselves and our own view before we can do it for other people. Otherwise, we're just going to be reflecting what we believe about ourselves. Yeah, and what does this look like practically? Well, for those of you who know me, um, you'll know that I like, I like playing football. and um, So I play football for a few different teams. Um, but what I've discovered as I play football for these different teams and we'll play different teams that we're playing in the league or in the competitions, whatever it is, there can be a lot of negative talk. I don't know if you've seen that or if you play football yourself, um, but I've found that there can be a lot of negative talk and people can say mean things to each other, whether they intend to be harmful or not, they can speak a lot of mean words over each other. And as a Christian being in this environment, I wondered how can I deal with this? How can I have momentum to, to then be a positive blessing and speak nice things to other people? But what I've discovered is that it starts with me and so for me, as a Christian, I know that Jesus loves me. I know that Jesus died for me. I know that Jesus values me and that he cares for me. And he knows that my identity is in him. And because of that, I can know that my identity is in him. And because I know who I am, because I know that I belong to God, because of who I am, I can then say nice things to other people because I'm not speaking negative things over myself. I'm speaking what God says to me. And through that, I can speak that to other people. And so for me, I found that momentum begins within because I can recognise who I am because of who God says I am. And because of that, I can speak nice words to other people. And so if someone says something mean to me, that doesn't stick because I know that it's not true. And I can say something nice in return because of what God has done for me. Yeah, so maybe you want to start small. Maybe you want to wake up in the morning and just pick one thing that you're going to speak over yourself. And it doesn't actually matter if you don't believe it, because as Christians, we know that what God says is truth. And so we can speak it over ourselves, whether we believe it or even until we believe it. So maybe you want to wake up tomorrow and you want to pray or say over yourself that you are loved, because actually God says that you're loved. God says that you're chosen and you're seen. So maybe you want to start small. Um, or maybe even get the YouVersion Bible app and then you have a verse every single day that you can read or that you can pray over yourself in the morning without having to look for it yourself. So just start small and start by speaking those kind, positive words over yourself, speaking the truth, how God views you over yourself and then watch how it affects how you speak and how you think about other people too. Because the momentum that we have of how we treat other people and how we live begins with how we treat and how we um, treat ourselves and how we live in the attitude that we have to ourselves too. So yes. we'll pray for us. Yeah, let's pray. Thank you, God, that you love us. Thank you that you value us. 
Thank you that you speak a better word over each of us. I pray you would help us to speak kindly to other people and that that momentum can start within us and help those around us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a great week.